today we're going to take a look at one of Victoria's local foodie hotspots. Usually we take a look at an event, a chef, or a location that I think is amazing. But today we're going to see one episode of a six episode series focusing on coffee houses. So get comfortable and be prepared to see something that is totally delicious. Hi Ben, uh, you know we're here today to find out a little bit of the inspiration and maybe some history on the Parsonage Cafe. W where did it come from? Uh, the Parsonage itself has been here for a long time, uh, coming up on 20 years. Sandy, who used to own the shop, uh, we, used to, we live in the neighborhood, we used to come here for coffee. Right. Sitting at a booth and uh, Sandy walked up and said, I, I heard a rumor that you, you're leaving Pescatoria's, why don't you buy this place? Right. And we thought she was joking and uh, the next morning there was a message on her answering machine and she was in fact serious and we bought it. Wow. Wow, I mean, I, I understand that we're connected to Fernwood Coffee somehow, the roastery is in behind. How, how does that work? Fernwood Coffee Company grew out of the Parsonage. Uh, they are one and the same. Okay. Um, the Parsonage is an institution in this neighborhood, and like I said, 20 years, and the roaster used to be right where, right behind the bar there. Okay. Um, so that was what we started roasting on, and as we started taking the coffee more and more seriously, people wanted to take the beans home, and Parsonage didn't seem like a good coffee company name and Fernwood Coffee Company grew out of that. I would love to plug our food because we're well known for our coffee and we're yeah. working with Madrona Farms, Urban Farm, Whole Beast, Slaters, FAS, like tons of local suppliers, yeah. everything. If we're not making it ourselves, we're buying it. And so it's a big thing for us to support the local economy. Um, and just it's so, such better quality when we know where it's coming from. Yeah, and it's a huge part of, of this cafe. The reason why I came here the first time was for the soup and to just have a quick bowl of soup, a cup of coffee, get back to work. And I mean, I've had a, a number of just phenomenal dishes come out of this kitchen, uh, the roast beef sandwich. And uh, to have those partnerships with, uh, you know, the Whole Beast and uh, Madrona, that, that's really powerful. Uh, we, we just don't find that very often. Yeah, it's great. Uh, one of the farms, Urban Farm, is two blocks away. Wow. So uh, that's local. Yeah, that's we're getting our greens like they come, come by bicycle. Yeah, from well, a few blocks away. That's so. awesome. I mean, it, it's I guess it's just uh, nice to see that the local support is here, you know, and uh, that it's alive and well in the city. Thanks for joining me at one of my favorite downtown places to sit and enjoy a really great coffee house experience. I'm Aaron Hall and I'm looking forward to seeing you again at our next delicious hotspot.